Let's go! Watching the world burn, episode 31. The real 31, not that fake one that nearly got us in trouble. They almost got us fired? Oh, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this is the one where we teach you how not to get blue balls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, this guy, yeah? yeah? He basically decided to do his own home remedy, but didn't mm. know about it, and eventually turned his whole body blue. You know, <laughs> that's where that was going, did you? <laughs> How'd you know that stuff? <laughs> Basically, he had a skin condition and he and he had something that stopped his skin from flaking. And like, it was just really irritating when it would flake. So he used silver ions and nanoparticles suspended in liquid, apparently, yeah. Changed his skin color completely. But that's the joke thing, yeah? Look at this guy. Just take a look at it. He didn't <laughs> yeah. notice. He was turning blue until his friend pointed it out. Ouch. Oh, do you not look in the mirror? You know what, yeah? I can make an argument for that. Mm. <laughs> So when eBay first came out, they mm. had a different color logo and then they tried to change it. And then the people were yeah. like, no, you can't change it. How could you change it? This looks trash. Send it back. And they got such outrage for the changing the logo that they changed it back. Mm. And what the programmer did is had it changed on a gradient yeah. bit by bit for 365 days every day. <laughs> so by the end of the year, yeah. it had changed color, but people yeah. didn't realize. Oh, shit. That's sick. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So this guy, maybe that's what happened, no? I could <laughs> he be, just didn't realize. <laughs> maybe he was always wearing that blue shirt and then just didn't realize it because this is what <laughs> real blue looks like. <laughs> That's mad. Yeah, that's bro. nuts. You know what that bro, reminds me? That's crazy. Mm. Arrested development. He blew himself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't his hair change colour? I don't know, actually. Was that his original colour? That would be chalk if he was like proper redhead. <laughs> and this is what he <laughs> said. <laughs> the blue balance. <laughs> he got race swapped. <laughs> and he race swapped himself. Oh, that's joke. <laughs> oh, that's joke, bro. What's this? This sounds joke, bruv. What a Tennessee woman accused of hiring a hitman on the dark web to yes. un unalive her hiking buddy's wife. That's a so, bit yeah. of a stretch. She was, uh, yeah, exactly. It was so bad as well. She went on some uh, hire a serial killer dot gov or something like that website. Dot gov as well. <laughs> 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 we are totally, <laughs> we're totally not affiliated with the FBI. Who's <laughs> it? Flowers by Irene. <laughs> 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 no, but so yeah, she it, paid in Bitcoin. How long ago did she pay in Bitcoin? Why the price was low? <laughs> now it's mad. She's in jail and poor. <laughs> <Isn't it though? laughs> and like she asked, it needs to be some random accident or something random or plant drugs, sprinkle some crack. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the same website that one that where that woman tried to offer a toddler in an earlier episode. Your point is yeah, so solution. <laughs> Why did she try to kill the woman? Because apparently he recently moved in with her and like she wanted to continue having her. And I think she, they wanted to move elsewhere because okay. of her. So obviously can't have that. It's her hiking buddy, whatever that means nowadays. But yeah. I think that's just another secret word, isn't it? What you doing? I'm going yeah. on a hike. What are you going to do? Explore <laughs> some bushes. <laughs> you know I mean? uh, and and you know, the thing is too, right? She actually sent the message. I've waited for two months and 11 days and the job is not completed. She's literally counting it down, bro. She's proper chasing him. They were waiting for her to chase it. Hold on. Why did they not arrest her straight away? Why did they just let her roam for nearly three months? Isn't it though? That's clearly someone who's not safe to be around, right? I swear down this is the same story where the guy was calling Crime Stoppers about his wife trying to kill him. You are Crime Stoppers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then two months later, he's just being ignored. <laughs> Two weeks later, she went, oh, the job is still not done. Does it need to be reassigned to someone else? And then she said she'd pay more. She really wanted that job done. No, but I think at that point, you've, you've invested a Bitcoin. You saw the price go up from $100 to like 30K. And you're like, crap, oh, might as well throw in the second one. Maybe that will entice him to do it. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> oh, you deserve to get scammed at that point. Yeah, I mean, at that stage. Speaking of scammers... While we're on scammers, apparently they're yeah. using AI 
to do them annoying phone calls. You know the ones. Yeah. So much so that they this guy got called and the AI had his mum's voice and was convincing him that she got kidnapped to deposit yeah. 5K in Bitcoin to this address for them to free her. Oh, you know that wouldn't work for me because yeah. I do not speak to my mom in English. Well, no, my mom does not speak English to me. Mm. So it's going to be a bit weird when my mom says something and then I respond back in English because I only speak to my mom in English while she mm. doesn't speak English to me. So it's going to be a weird combo for the scammer to try and catch. <laughs> in it though. It's but, bilingual scammers as well. This is what I mean. And I might just flip it up on you. <laughs> Just start speaking <laughs> not English for the first time and then you'd be confused. Yes. Or just throw in a random word for no reason. Good I mean, in... <laughs> yeah, what was it? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Whatever it was. <laughs> and he'd be like, what? What in French? <laughs> Oh, oh jokes. Oh, I've got another scammer one. Hold on. I've got multiple scammer ones. This seems to be like the scamming episode. <laughs> we need to revise it. This is the episode where we teach you how to scam. <laughs> this guy got called by the scammer, text by the scammer. He goes, hi, sweetheart, it's your grandma. Please send me a 1,000. I'm stuck in France and need a flight ticket money. To which he goes, grandma, what are you doing in France? I spoke to you yesterday. <laughs> I took a very fast flight over <laughs> and now I'm there. Please send me your money. Sweaty. He <laughs> was so sweet, right? <laughs> right? At which point he went, this is a scammer. My grandma had been dead for over a year. Right? <laughs> which was, oh, no, honey, this is this <laughs> other grandma. <laughs> uh, oh, hi, abuela. How's France? Send the pic. <laughs> she sends this. <laughs> <laughs> At which point, yeah, he yeah. responds with, we're Mexican, not white. Fuck that abuela, she should have helped right? You know what I mean? He should have given it away. At which point, the scam responds with... <laughs> That point, he was just having fun. <laughs> that point, yeah, he knew the jig was up, so he was like, "Fuck it, let's do it, bro." Oh, oh that's joke, bro. Oh, bro. When I saw that the first time, that threw me so hard. Oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the comments is, "Oh crap, I didn't recognize you without the sombrero." <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. The crazy part is people will still fall for it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, nah, I throw the guy a 20 just for that, bro. <laughs> oh, that's <was> brilliant, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh. while we're on scammers scamming, mm. I might as well hit you up with the Chinese poker game, bro. Bruv, you see this guy just getting violated for whatever reason, yeah? Yeah. And you're like, what's going on? They're digging in his eye. Man's got some contact lenses, yeah? Right. They're like, why is this guy rocking these? Oh, it's a Mahjong thing. So they show you what these eyes are, right? What yeah. these contacts are, bruv. Man puts on their UV contacts. This is what uh, it looks like. The numbers. Yeah. You see how the cards are numbered, bruv? He even yeah. did the little line to not to confuse a six or a nine, bruv. He's on a scam with that's, five, bruv. That's nuts. Can you imagine crazy. having that and going to a casino with your boy running in up, bro. Mix a blackjack deck in there and call it a day, yeah. bro. Yeah. Look at that. Look how crisp that is with the blue filter. That's He's crazy. single card, bro. Yeah. That's so mad, bro. How much you reckon you get one of these costs, bro? Like, to be fair, you oh. have to be in on some of so, like, You can't just rock up with these blue eye contacts. Black nah. eye, eye blue all of a sudden. <laughs> I mean, oh, a... unless you're like new there. Yeah, unless you're new and nobody knows you. Yes. Yeah, so sh this chick, <laughs> she, like, she basically, she lost 80k, sending it to this dude that was like saying that he was stagging his health and all that, right? In Latvia or whatever, right? He's a US soldier. Bro, here's the thing about this, yeah? Yeah. The title makes it look like she also gambled away her kids. And her yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Yeah, you know what, right? She left a partner of 29 years for this dude. Oh, 
oh that's joke yes looks like oh my sympathy has just gone i was like oh that's bad like how do you get scammed for that but like, also yeah she paid them in bitcoin right so that was 80k a while back right so how when while she, back are we like, talking like before 2020 so like, it was still fairly cheap for 2020 hold on i need to go to the max chart no, for this one. Oh, so, oh, 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 oh. ah that's 13k oh you said yeah. before august hold on before august well that's still like 10k ish bitcoin so he would have got what eight bitcoins After, this is a december 22 article and in december 22 that bitcoin would have been worth 500k oh, oh. <laughs> but he received a message from a different up. email under his name asking for fifteen thousand pounds for a plane ticket but this guy's trying and to fly first class me, eat lobster believing this was the dude she actually paid it Both. i ain't gonna lie yeah mm. Not religious despite what we did on the missing episode <laughs> yes. wait no that sounds dodgy pause on that one <laughs> <laughs> and like right. basically the, they used the picture of Latvia's finance minister there's a point where you feel bad for people but I find it hard to feel sympathy you leave, you leave your kids and, and, and husband essentially for and drop over half a million which is what wasn't yeah, half a million well, at the time 80k 80k peas bro yeah. Nah, 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 she was swindled. She wasn't swindled. She swindled herself. Let's yeah, be honest. Was, she, might no been, swindled, she might have been swindled for 65. And that last mm. 15 is 100% on her. I need 15K for a plane ticket. Where's this guy flying from, bro? For 15K. <laughs> First class, man's out yeah. here eating lobster stuff with tacos. Since this has now turned into a scamming episode, I've got one for you. This guy, bro, this was initially for to be a myth and not mm. to be a real story but it's now coming out i think he rage quit in, no no rage quit he just basically didn't show up to work in 2009 i think from 1986 for 23 years up until 2009 yeah this guy was basically stood at a bristol zoo car park mm. charging every single car pound mm. for parking right. and charging a coach five pounds on right. average, he would rock up 150 cars a day. All right. right. Let's focus. 150 cars a day plus eight coaches. So that's another 40 mm. bucks. Yeah. Times that by six days. He was making 1.1K a week. Yeah. Times that by 52 weeks. He was rocking up 59k a year. Keep it in mind, yeah. this is 86. Mm. From 86. That's right? crazy. Yeah. Times that. By 23 years, my guy rocked up 1.3 milli. That's crazy. Yeah. In the 23 years that he was there. And just to put it in perspective, when I first came into the UK, we used to live in Cricklewood. And we moved out because the guy that we were renting the house from was selling it. Yeah. He sold it for yeah. 10k. 10k. Crazy. When I was looking for a house, I was looking for a house sort of northwestish ends, and the yeah. same flat, literally the exact same flat, was on the market, bro, for two sixty. Yeah. That's nuts. And that was just before COVID kicked off. So mm. if you think about it, yeah, fifty something k in the eighties. This guy was boiling it out. So what happened was this guy just didn't show up for work one day. Mm. So the zoo called the council. It was like, yo, are you sending a yeah. parking attendant over? There's no parking attendant for this thing. The council's like, what are you talking about? This zoo property, yeah. you lot are supposed to be responsible for the parking. This guy never even worked there, bro. He just <laughs> scanned it out for 23 <laughs> years, bro. No <laughs> one asked. No one asked. <laughs> like, you remember when we were in the office and we were working with this dude from the the data team also yeah. worked the post room yeah. and then he would rock up late to work mm. and just rock up in the post room and say oh i had to do some data stuff or he would rock yeah. up late to work and go oh i was needed in the post room or he yeah. would just go oh i just finished in the post room but i'm going to lunch and then he'd go back yeah. to the post room, oh i just finished upstairs and then i'm going to lunch so this guy would rock up an hour two hours late and then have a two hour lunch break yeah. this is what this usually the same thing that popped off bro like nobody knew what he was doing this guy's a g bro and then originally it was for a myth but there seems to be a lawsuit now that's popping off with the bristol city council over some other thing that's making it seem mm. like it's actually a legit story bro that's crazy do you know what i mean bro we're just out here just 
Hello. I mean, we're, we're slacking. Hard for no reason. We're slacking. Yeah. There's this parking yellow vest with Bristol Zoo on it, bro. It was a pound a lot back in the days. Like, it was a pound for parking steep. Because obviously, if a house is 10k. Right? Oh, 1986. 86 onwards, because, I mean, I'm sure by the 90s, a pound for parking didn't seem that bad. Is it really a scam if you're, if you're literally going to work? <laughs> he was unemployed officially, bro. He was there for 23 years, six days a week. <laughs> 1986, average wage was £3.87 per hour. That's steep for parking back in those days, bro. Yeah, that is crazy. crazy. Not really, if you think about it. How much is minimum wage now? How much is average wage now per hour? Minimum wage is what, like eight, nine? No, whatever the hell minimum wage is. Full-time workers earned an average of 22.15. Pound per hour. No, oh, that's in fucking London. Uh, 1640. 1640 versus what? Yeah. Three pounds, whatever. Yeah. And so it's the equivalent of spending five pounds on parking. And that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. Still, bucks though. He probably, he, on his last day, he just had, you know what? I've had enough for retired. <laughs> yeah. I've, been work, I've been working here for 23 years. Chicken at some point even forgot himself. I, <laughs> not... <laughs> I think that was the point he forgot and then he would try to go back the next day he was like oh crap I don't actually do work here <laughs> But if you think about it all, when are you taking holidays? You're literally off for Christmas and yeah, that's long. And you have to be acquainted with the staff, know when the zoo is closed. And well, to yeah. be fair, no, now it's easy to get. But back then you would have had to have, have some kind of schedule of when they're closing and whatever. Well, anyway, props to this guy. He smashed it. Yeah, well done. He was innovating, like thinking out of the box. <laughs> yeah. Got himself a job. Speaking yeah. of crazy jobs, this is how I might possibly die. <laughs> just no. Let's just go ahead and say no. Bro, this job pays you 130k to change a light bulb. All right, I'm going to say this. To the subscribers, just... like and subscribe and possibly join the Patreon that isn't for the robot. That's so he doesn't have to take this job. So we're trying to raise 130k. <laughs> if you look at it, yeah, this is what you mm. do. You basically climb on top of this thing, change the yeah. light bulb, and then you literally, that's it. Take it out of the little whatever, mm. and then put in a new light bulb. Yeah. However, look how high that is, bruv. Uh, like, that's crazy high. Look how small it is he is compared to, and he's not even at the top yet. He's still that's, climbing. That's nuts. So, apparently... Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. In some cases... Obviously, because of wind, because of yeah. weather, because of like you can't be climbing because of the height. Yeah. It's a six hour trip to do the light bulb because you're climbing That's... up for free. You're there for yeah. however long it takes and you're down for nearly free. <laughs> oh, That's crazy. <laughs> Comments. Imagine getting all the way up there and you forgot to pack the new light bulb. <laughs> well, That's. I know. That's that thing. would be such a. Mistaken. Let's put feminists to get this job done. Same, right? <laughs> yeah. And I bring my own parachute. If I have to climb, at least I can have some fun on the way down. I think that, that is to not advisable at all. Yeah, these must be connected to wires. If the wind is an issue going up, it's going to yeah. be an issue going down. People, yeah. And the guy says, genuine question, why don't they wear a parachute? Because mm. the thing will cut you in half. Yeah, plus uh, it's way too close to the thing. I mean, you could probably do the squirrel suit. Oh, so now that you've challenged me, <laughs> I've accepted this challenge. <laughs> so, road man, getting his yeah. house raided in all sorts, living in on the 18th floor, 18th story. Ralph parachutes away to get from the police. He just jumped out of the building, bro. Oh, oh <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> Uh, you know what would have been joke if he's had his boys on a moped just waiting for him like yeah, that, would, <laughs> that would make it <laughs> oh, bro. yeah so if it can jump off a flat there's no reason why it shouldn't really be able to yeah realistically I reckon, do you know what I mean yeah. mm. all right since we're on heights what's this all about oh, so yeah this is, this is how I die yes <laughs> so this is basically a hike like a hiking route that is fairly popular in China. Look at it. Are you going on that? <laughs> no, that's me there screaming my head off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that is literally me. He just went pale because of that. 
Oh, bro. First of all, it's China. I don't trust yeah. anything to be properly done. Like that dude is just no. <laughs> bro. Secondly, yeah. Yeah. It's China, so I am assuming that these people are not on my weight range. <laughs> yes. So I don't not. trust the level of harnesses that's about to <laughs> look at that guy. Look at this guy, but where does he go, bro? This I need to no. know. Did he make it or not? <laughs> like it doesn't look like he made it. Look at this guy's face. Like, oh, like he did. Yeah. That's see, nuts. what happened to the one that fell down? <laughs> He was replaced. They have enough. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, fucked up, but I believe it to be true. I don't think I'm doing that, bro. Like I'm not. Yeah, I'm you're not touching that. George, oh, bro, no way. I'd have a parachute, and if you tell me there's a light bulb that needs changing on top of that for 130k, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Mad. However, since we're on the extreme thing, yeah? Mm. I've got another one for you. Which one of these are you going to do? Activities that you should put on the bucket list. Right. And this guy just hanging off a plane and just boom. Jumping off a hot air balloon in Brazil. Bro, this is like, what, full sprint and then she dives. That's basically skydiving. You can call that. Yeah. Well. I think this is how I die. Nah. <laughs> I love that. Trust this to be the day that I have that little skin on my nail that I peeled off and it starts bleeding. <laughs> That's it. Does she have a blindfold on? Did she get set up? She got set up. <laughs> Close your eyes. I've got, it's a surprise. The thing is, yeah, yeah, out of this list, this is the only one I'd love to do. Because mm. I love water, bro. Like, this thing, I've seen too many things go wrong with that. Like, I heard a story, yeah, of this guy who climbed up a mountain and he mm. was working the mountain as a... What was he doing? I think he was a tour guide. But then during his time off, he'd like to go skiing. And he got stuck mm. in a hole. And like, But he was not fully stuck. He was just slightly submerged. And what they had to do in this mountain was they had yeah. to send snow machines to sort of break up the ice. And the guy did not see him. And that is how he died. He didn't die from the thing. He got died by being shredded up by a snow machine. That's crazy. And what happened to Schumacher? He didn't get into a car crash. He no. got from... Exactly. Now, you ain't gonna catch me skiing, bro. You know, it's like that um, recliner. The one that was oh. in that documentary, yeah. right? And yeah, no, that was a sick show, bro. That had you at the edge of your seat. Like, oh my God, is he gonna make it? Is he gonna fall? Obviously, yeah, like knew that he makes it because I saw the interview afterwards. Yeah, but... I, I saw an interview with him, right? And he's like, yeah, this many of my friends are dead. Dude was like, what, from free climbing? So I was like, nah, just like this dude tried to <laughs> run in a... <laughs> like, this so dude tried to go in a... <laughs> None of them did, you know? None of them did. So, like, one of them blattered himself into the side of a mountain wearing a squirrel suit. Oh, that sounds horrible. Although, in yes. my head, it's literally Wiley Coyote chasing the road. <laughs> 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 yes, that's, that's where I went as well. And then he slowly just slides down. Like, <laughs> and then that cloud on the little floor, and he hits like, poof. <laughs> that's so fucked up. Oh. Yeah, that note, I say we call it, bruv. Call it.